Welcome to this new video and in this video we are going to start talking about what it is DHCP snooping okay in DHCP snooping it is a layer 2 security feature that validates DHCP messages okay and the way it works is that it allows us to create trusted and untrusted ports to prevent a bad DHCP server from connecting to our network so the way it works is that when you configure DHCP snooping on a switch because it, this is a layer 2 security feature what this does is that we enable DHCP snooping and what it does is that E sets all the ports as untrusted ports by default so what we have to do is if DHCP communication is coming on this interface which is interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 we have to make that port as a trusted port and that port is going to be the only one where DHCP communication is going to be allowed so this is this this way we can prevent a hacker from connecting their DHCP device or server and try to hack our network and I'm going to show you how this works how main because this DHCP snooping pre prevents main in the middle attack which is the one that we are going to simulate right here as you can see this DHCP server is a server for this com for my company let's say that and the information is coming from fast internet zero slash one but if we're not using DHCP snooping anybody else can connect to my switch and have computers and give computers IP address so as you can see let's take a look at this this one has IP address 182.168.1.2 which is coming from or server correct but let's say that a hacker comes in and connects their let's say on fast ethernet 5 and connects their um, I'm sorry and connects their router or their DHCP server and it can reroute um, their communication it could set up a different DNS server and send it to a bad DNS server which can lead to a fake let's say a West Fargo bank website where you can enter your credentials and then they're going to steal your identity and all your money from your bank account and let's first of all we have to configure as you can see right here already I was going to configure in and the excluded address was this one, so I have to set up for Ethernet Gigabit Zero as that address. So let's go ahead and do that because I forgot to do that uh, first. Let's go config T interface IP address. Okay, IP address of uh, I'm sorry of zero 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 dot one two five five. see here is coming up in what we can see here is that STP is still trying to resolve still kicking in so that's going to take a couple of seconds so let's give it a second and let's see when that interface goes up we're going to connect another computer and let's see which which DHCP server gives this computer a, um, a new IP address right so as you can see right here the first one was given by this DHCP server which is the one that we wanted right it's this one that's the one that we want but what about if somebody if the hacker just plug in their DHCP server and now it's connected to a network and now somebody else comes in and connects their device to our switch and let's say zero three is good, All right? Let's see what happens. Who's gonna be? Who's gonna be the server? Is it gonna be the hacker, or is it going to be the good DHCP server? Who who's the one that's going to win the race to give that computer an IP address? And when this interface goes up, we are going to see which one is the server that's going to win that battle, right? Because it's it's a race against the clock and let's see 
interface went up let's go ahead and say DHCP and here it is you see that who won that race the hacker won that race because the hacker is connect is direct directly connected sorry to this switch and since it's directly connected to the switch you won the race on offering a new IP address to this computer and now this computer is hacked and it is in the hands of the hacker because this hacker now can configure a new DNA server a default gateway right and it can intercept all the information so let's say that we put in not the Google D DNS server which is 8.8.8.8 .8 but we have a DNS server configured on the network and we set up to that and we have fake websites like West Fargo like I was saying and Somebody trying to go to westfiber.com and we redirect them to a fake website that we have, we can capture their password and username and steal all their money. So this is the way that main in the middle attack um, could work. And you can see that we got this IP address and this one got the uh, the good IP address because the hacker DHCP server was not actively working but what about if we turn it off and then turn it back on we are going to get the hackers IP address or the hackers domain and then there it is right so we want to prevent this we want to prevent hackers from connecting to our um, I'm sorry to our network or to our topology and the way to do this is by enabling DHCP snooping in what DHCP snooping is going to do is going to block all the ports from DHCP offers and what we have to do is manually enable the port that we want to have the DHCP to use okay so let's go ahead and do that and this is on the switch enable config, config terminal and now let's go and do then And we're going to do VLAN 1 because that's where all the ports are assigned to VLAN 1. So we have to do VLAN 1. And there it is. So what's going on now? Let's do and show IP. Let's see. Try the DHCP snooping, I believe. Yep. So as you can see right here, we do not have any trusted ports. All of them are set up as untrusted. So what's going to happen to this, since they are all as untrusted, we won't be able to get a new DHCP right offer. We won't get a new DHCP IP address. So let's say we turn it off and then we turn it back on. Hmm. Interesting. What we can see right here is that we got a DHCP coming from this one and this is because we have to configure DHCP snooping on this one as well so just give me one second Oops. Okay. terminal B, DHCP This one is also set up as untrusted. All the ports are set up as untrusted. So let's see now and to see if we can get an, an IP address again. And we are still getting that IP address from this one. Let me see. Sorry for that. Show run. Let's try for that. HP snooping VLAN 1. Okay. Okay, but it is blocking it. So let's see if we do a overall config terminal. I think it should be snooping. Let's enable it like that. Let's do the same here.
and as you can see, now it is blocking it, right? Static DHCP fail because it is failing to get that DHCP server offer, right? The DHCP server offer is being blocked right now, and the computers won't be able to get the DHCP offers. There you go, it is failed. So, what we have to do since all the ports are set up as untrusted ports, what we have to do is make those ports. We're going to have to make, I believe, um, Fast Ethernet 1 and Fast Ethernet 1 here as trusted ports. And to do that, we have to go into interface 1. And first of all, IP, DHCP, snooping, and we're going to set up to trust, right? We wanted to trust that IP. We wanted to trust um, that DHCP offers. We wanted to allow those offers from the DHCP server. And on this switch as well, we have to configure that. And here it is. Let me see now. I don't think we have to configure on. Which one is this one connected to? Well, we're gonna take a look. Let's see if it's working now. Let's say we turn up the computer and turn it back on. Now really we're gonna have to set up this one as trusted as well. And it's not giving me where it is. Let's unplug it and plug it back in. So it fast Ethernet 2. Snooping and then we wanted to trust it. So what we have right now is fast Ethernet 1, Control C, Control V, and fast Ethernet 2 for the switch. Both configured to trust the offer from this DHCP server. So let's take a look at the shell command. See, we are not trusting one, so we are not trusting three or two. What about five? We are not trusting five either, but let's take a look and see what happens now. It is still not working so we have to set up the i believe this one is on why well, can i see it now let me start let's see this is on two and this is on three so two and three let's do on two and three here as well to trust it Zero two and zero three. So let's do a range. So we can go for the same time range. Two and three. Paste that here. This should be snooping. Trust it. Let's trust it because it was not trusting this two. And what we need to do now is go ahead and try to get an IP address from the DHCP server. And here it is. Voila. So what we need to do was configure DHCP snooping on this interface, this interface, this interface, and this interface. All right, I'm sorry, let me, not on this interface because that's the hacker interface. So now what it's doing is since it is trusting this interfaces to send DHCP server requests or offers, and we also right here right here and one more which was right here so now since it is trusting DHCP 
server to send it over this interface and also send it back down this interface and this switch then is allowing it on that interface and then it's also allowing it on this interface and this interface but it is blocking the hacker interface and since it is blocking the hacker interface or not the hacker interface but it is blocking all the other ports it's only allow this one two three four five interfaces we are going to be able to get that DHCP server or that DHCP offers from the server that we want and not from the hacker server and that's how we can prevent man in the middle attack using DHCP snooping so thank you for watching this video I hope you guys enjoy it and thank you for watching and have a nice day bye bye